Hey guys, so I'm doing a quick video on some awesome stuff I picked up at the flea market today. Just great stuff, and I also picked two great things up at Walmart. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. So, uh, don't know what to start with. Maybe I'll start with, like, I'll start with the first thing I got. So, the first, uh, thing I got, guy had, like, a box of DVDs and Blu rays. Only Blu ray I got was, uh, Gangster Squad. Sorry about that freaking glare. Uh, there we go. Uh, oh. Uh, Gangster Squad. Um, it's got Emma Stone and Sean Penn. Those are, uh, and Ryan Gosling. Those are, like, the only people I know in this. So, um, yeah, it looks like a pretty good movie. got the code I don't know if it's been used or not if it hasn't been used then you're welcome if it has been used then rip yeah you get the blu-ray DVD in there this is only two bucks really nice that um, next I got um, really cool DVD haven't seen this movie I've, wa I've wanted to see this for a while and that is this is spinal tap it's like uh, they mock, um, like, uh, I don't know, what is it, like, they mock, uh, like, heavy metal dudes, um, yeah, so, it's a widescreen, yeah, it's, it's just a, like, it's a mockumentary type film, I guess, of, um, yeah, of, like, heavy metal and, um, rock and that, so, this is Spinal. Uh, next thing I got is, okay, so guys, next, um, I got this really, uh, awesome, my dad actually picked this up, but I, I don't know whose this is right now, but it's a Toronto Maple Leaf 6465 information book, um, it's got all the players and all the doodads and all the stuffy stuff, so, um, yeah, it's a really nice book, um, I got this uh, rock and roll DVD, History of Rock, uh, Guitar Heroes, and uh, like just the 70s decade. If only it was, if it was the 60s, it like it would be good. But um, the problem, yeah, I, no, this is good, I guess, because if it was the 60s, it wouldn't show like uh, like it shows Zeppelin, but it wouldn't show the uh, like you know everything in that. So whatever, there's that. Uh, haven't seen it yet, but I'm gonna watch it later. And then this is the big thing I got at um, the flea market. It's pretty big, literally. And it's um, it's pretty cool. It's uh, the the Star Trek playset. No, it's it's Star Wars. And uh, damn, it's freaking huge, dude. Like it's pretty big. Um, it was originally, if the camera will focus on it. No, it's too. It's too much for the camera. Damn. Well, it says $140 at Big Pete's. Uh, there we go. Now you can see it. There we go. Right there. $140 at Big Pete's when it originally came out. And yeah, I, um, these are figures based off the third movie. Uh, so you get a lovely looking Harrison Ford on Solo. Great looking Princess Leia. <laughs> she kind of looks like a dude, to be honest. There. You got her mask. You got, um. Yeah. Captain Kirk there. Uh, there's a lightsaber. Um, there's the, um, R2D2. Um, but yeah, there's, um, it's really nice, um, Star Wars set. Uh, you look at the size. It's got a. Really awesome. It's got uh, real photos on the side. Just awesome. Han Solo, Princess Leia, and Luke Skywalker. Fuck. Oh, there we go. There's the back. Put out in 1998. Where's the thingy? And there we go. 98. That's beautiful. 
So there's that side's got this, the other side's got the same photo. And yeah, the woman uh, gave it to me for it was she was asking twenty bucks. Then I said eight. Uh, no, that, then I was like, could you lower it down a little? And she's like eighteen. And she's like, okay, no, how about twenty dollars for this? And I'll throw in another figure. And I got um this this uh, she had like a whole bunch of other um excuse me Star Wars Episode One figures that weren't great. This was the only one I found that was kind of interesting. The Anakin Skywalker. Uh, this figure. I still haven't seen the prequels. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Probably a good thing, but... Um, yeah, someday I want, I, want, I want to see the prequels. I don't care if they're... Like, they're bad, probably, but... Whatever. Um, I still want to see them. So, I got those two for 20 bucks. Yeah, I asked if she'd lower down a little, because... Look at that, it's kind of dented at the top there. Really sad. So, yeah, there's that big-ass Star Wars set, really awesome. And then I'll show you the cool stuff I got at, um, uh, what was it, uh, Walmart. Um, so, first thing I got at Walmart, um, sorry, I opened it, forget the unboxing video. Uh, sorry about the shakiness. I got at Walmart for $4.88, uh, 28 weeks later and 28 days later in this two-movie box set. A really, really nice box set. I, I can't believe it's only five bucks there. Um... Yeah, open it up. It's just yeah. You get the D standard DVDs. I still haven't seen these films, to be honest. Uh, I've bored them off someone a couple times, and I just haven't gotten around that. Like I just couldn't really get into them. But um, I'm gonna finally give them a chance. I need to. I really want to see these films. They look good. So, 28 weeks later and 28 days later. Um, and then the final thing I got today was National Lampoon's Vacation. Ah, ah. Finally friggin' got the, uh, this movie. Uh, I need to get the other ones though. This is just um, the first one. Uh, and yeah, so... um. Uh, th this is great though, um, I, I, not, not the, well, I, the movie's good so far, but, um, uh, funny, uh, how I actually got this, um, when I was in, like, when, yeah, when I was in Walmart, I was looking through the $5 bin and that, and I was,